the constitution of india preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution hi everyone i know that you all are there with the ipl fever pitch right looking for the good strokes and looking for the best day isn't it today we are moving to deal with some intensity and the words related to that so you may think what is intensity our acceptance and the intensity to learn is the driving force towards success right so here we are going to intensify some expressions in english and we call those as intensifiers hope you wish to know what are they isn't it let's know one by one among them the first one is literally the second one pretty the third one absolutely the fourth one completely the fifth one exceptionally there are some fillers too like at all and all almost and already isn't it so we are moving to learn about the four fillers which we use after or at the end of the sentence and the four to five other words which we call as intensifiers or the words which we use to increase intensity in communication all right let's see to all those so let's start to know the intensifiers we know the word literal l i t e r e l literal or in literal means totally or generally we might have heard or come across this kind of an expression i am literally hungry i am literally tired what do these sentences say they mean that we are totally tired we don't have any words to express for that we are totally hungry we can't express the emotion hunger so literally means generally or totally all right okay now let's move to the word pretty p r e t t y the word pretty denotes the beauty of a substance subject or a person and even we have heard of some things or some people do say he looks pretty good in that attire she looks pretty good in that costume isn't it but pretty good is not at all a satisfying one since we follow british english it will be very fine if we use the expression quite good okay so in case if you come across such scenarios which takes your eyes on them or takes your eyes on to that she looks quite good in that attire he looks quite good in that costume okay all right yes now let's move to the third one exceptional they did an exceptional job their presentation was exceptionally commendable exceptional which means something special right 
So people who do do the task with some exceptional talent or exceptional skill are termed to be specially talented or specially skilled people. So exceptional means something special. All right. So when you use this word to the sentence, make sure that you are indicating a special attribute in that person. Okay. Right. Now let's move to the fourth word. Absolutely or else completely. Absolute means precise, perfect, concise or as a whole. The people who were assigned to do the work study have done their work in their absolute way, which means in a complete, wholehearted or in a very precise and perfect way. Okay, so absolute means wholly or completely or in a precise and perfect way. So this is also an intensifier. An absolute salutation. Okay. An absolute truth. An absolute desire. Alright. Okay. So what do you mean by completely? Completely do carry the same meaning. Which means wholly or totally. Okay. Alright. Now let me tell you about some other words we usually say right it looks damn good i feel damn hungry i felt damn this is pretty damn good never bring the word damn with pretty and good because the word damn d-a-m-n do bring a negative impression to the sentence so try to say it looks quite good, it looks fine, it looks beautiful and it looks appealing. Alright, okay. Now as we talked about the fillers, they are already, almost, at all and all. Already. You might have come across this word, right? When you go to a subject teacher with your friend you will always search for her right you never leave the hands of your friend because you have to ensure that her presence is there with you already you need a support who is there to guide for you for that particular moment right already means which has been performed or which is totally there at your present now let's move to at all. The expression not at all signifies another unsatisfied state. Okay. Are you good today? Not at all. Are you well today? Not at all. Right. So be well every time. So not at all brings a negative impression. Clear my dear children? Okay. Now let's move to almost I haven't done my homework so your friend will tell you I did it almost or almost it's done for me this signifies an incompleteness of the subject where the work is not done in a perfect way it's done in an almost nearly or in an average way which couldn't satisfy anyone, right? So almost is also an unsatisfied filler which you bring to your sentence, okay? So try to do it in an absolute way, okay dear children? Right, now let's move to the another one or another filler. That is and all. Dear my friends, why you looked so busy yesterday? You do tell your friend that, oh, there were many things for me to pack. 
there were dress there were books and things and all right how do we say there were books there were dress there were the things and all here other things and all is still incomplete try to say in this way other things and all the rest because and all is still incomplete so you have to bring the other remains to the sentence so tell them and all the rest so how do you have to say we have to pack the dress we have to pack the books and all the things and all the rest all right my dear children okay now let me tell you one phrasal verb for absolute today the phrasal verb for absolute today is out and out okay the arrangement of books in the shelf were looked as if they were out and out all right so the arrangement of the books in the shelf were looking as an absolute arrangement hope you understood this phrasal verb for today so i believe you all have done your assignments and i will be calling you at random take care of your health drink plenty of water pray to god to get rid of this pandemic soon so that's all for today till we see with the next session it's a bye for me bye bye